Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about DART, Detect Adulteration with Rapid Test. Before that, syllabus wise unit 1 to unit 10 MCQs link has been given in description. So please go through it and subscribe our channel. Here comes about DART, Detect Adulteration with Rapid Test. DART booklet is the compilation of common quick test for detection of food adulterants at household by the citizens themselves so as to induce the awareness among the consumers about food safety. DART covers more than 50 tests. Let's move on to it. Here comes the common quick test for detection of some food adulterants at household. So first about milk and milk products. So the first test, detection of water in milk. Place a milk on a polished slanting surface. Pure milk stays or flows slowly, leaving a white trail behind. Milk adulterated with water will flow immediately without leaving a mark. So the image shows about pure milk and adulterated milk. And next, detection of detergent in milk. Here, take 5 to 10 ml of sample with an equal amount of water. Shake the contents thoroughly. If milk is adulterated with detergent, it forms dense leather. Pure milk will form very thin foam layer due to agitation. So you can see the difference between pure milk and adulterated milk in the image. And next, test 3. Detection of starch in milk and milk products. Koya, chenna, paneer. So the testing method, boil 2 to 3 ml of sample with 5 ml of water. Cool and add 2 to 3 drops of tincture of iodine. Formation of blue color indicates the presence of starch. In case of milk, addition of water and boiling is not required. And test 4. Detection of mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes and other starches in ghee or butter. So the testing method. Take half teaspoon of ghee or butter in a transparent glass bowl. Add 2 to 3 drops of tincture of iodine. Formation of blue color indicates the presence of mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes and other starch. Here the image shows the difference between Pure and adulterated. And next about oils and fats. Test 5. Detection of other oils in coconut oil. So the testing method. Take coconut oil in a transparent glass. Place this glass in refrigerator for 30 minutes. Do not keep in freezer. After refrigeration, coconut oil solidifies. If coconut oil is adulterated, the other oils remain as separate layer. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated in the image. And next test 6. Detection of TOCP, triarthocrisyl phosphate in oils and fat. So the testing method here comes. Take 2 ml of sample of oil. Add on a little amount of yellow butter that is solid. Immediate formation of red color indicates the presence of TOCP. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated. And next, test 7. Proper inrization of refined winterized salad oils. So the testing method, take 100 ml sample oil in bottle, cork tightly and seal with paraffin. The bottle is completely submerged in bucket containing finely cracked ice and water is added until it rises to top of the bottle. The bucket is kept filled solidly with ice by removing any excess water and adding ice when necessary. After 5.5 hours, remove the bottle and examine the oil. If it is properly winterized, sample will be brilliant, clear and limpid. And next, sugars and confectionery. 
test 8 detection of sugar solution in honey so the first testing method take a transparent glass of water add a drop of honey to the glass pure honey will not disperse in water if the drop of honey disperses in water it indicates the presence of added sugar then testing method 2 take a cotton wick dip it in a pure honey and light with a match stick pure honey will burn if adulterated the presence of water will not allow the honey to burn if it does it will produce a cracking sound and next test 9 detection of chalk powder in sugar pithy sugar jaggery testing method take a transparent glass of water dissolve 10 gram of sample in water if sugar pithy sugar jaggery is mixed with chalk the adulterant will settle down at the bottom and next test 10 detection of aluminium leaves in silver leaves the testing method take some portion of leaf and crush it between two fingers pure silver leaves will be easily crushed and crumble to the powder form while aluminium leaves will only break into smaller shreds further take the suspected silver leaves and make it in a form of ball and burn it with the help of a flame pure silver leaves burn away completely leaving glistening balls while aluminium leaves are reduced to gray ash here you can see the difference between the silver leaves and aluminium leaves and next about food grains and its products test 11 detection of extraneous matter dust pebble stone straw wheat seeds damaged grain weaved grain insects rodent hair and excreta in food grains so the testing method is take small quantity of sample in a glass plate examine the impurities visually pure food grains will not have any such impurities impurities are observed visually in adulterated food grains here you can see the difference between both the images about pure and adulterated and next test 12 detection of that dry in food grains so the testing method is take small quantity of food grains in a glass plate examine the impurities usually that raw seeds which are flat with edges and blackish brown in color can be separated out by close examination and next test 13 detection of excess bran in wheat flour so the testing method is take a transparent glass of water sprinkle a spoon of wheat flour on the surface of water pure wheat flour will not show excess bran on water surface adulterated wheat flour shows excess bran floating on the water surface and next test 14 detection of kesari dal in dal whole and split testing method take small quantity of dal whole or split in a glass plate examine the impurities visually kesari dal which has edged type appearance showing a slant on one side and square appearance can be separated out by close examination pure dal will not have any such impurities and next test 15 detection of added color in food grains testing method take a transparent glass of water add two teaspoons of food grains and mix thoroughly pure food grains will not leave any color adulterated food grains leave immediate color here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated and next test 16 detection of turmeric in cell rice so the tes testing method Take a teaspoon of rice in a glass plate. Sprinkle a small amount of soaked lime, commonly known as chuna, which is used in pan on the rice grains. Pure grains will not form red color. Adulterated grains will form red color. 
annexed test 17 detection of rhodopin B in ragi. So the testing method take cotton ball soaked in water or vegetable oil conduct the test separately. Rub the outer surface of ragi. If cotton absorbs color then it indicates the adulteration of rhodopin B for coloring the outer surface of ragi. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated ragi. And next test 18 detection of chakunda beans in pulses. So the testing method take small quantity of pulses in a transparent glass plate. Examine the impurities usually. Chakunda beans can be separated out by close examination. And next test 19 detection of sand, soil, insects, webs, lumps, rodent has and excreta in atta, maida and rava. So the testing method this can be identified by visual examination. So you can see the difference clearly in the image. And next comes salt, spices and condiments. Test 20 Detection of foreign resin in asafoetida hing. So the te testing method burn small quantity of asafoetida in a stainless steel spoon. Pure asafoetida will burn like camphor. Adulterated asafoetida will not produce bright flame like camphor. And next testing method 2. Powder a gram of asafoetida and take it in a glass container. Add 1 teaspoon of water. Mix thoroughly by shaking. Milky white solution with no sediments represents pure asafoetida. Here the image shows the difference between pure and adulterated. And next test 21. Detection of papaya seeds in black pepper. Testing method 1. Add some amount of black pepper to a glass of water. Pure black pepper settles at the bottom. In the adulterated black pepper, papaya seeds float on the surface of water. Here you can see the difference between black pepper and papaya seeds. And next, detection of papaya seeds in black pepper testing method 2. Spread the spice on a white paper. Observe the appearance of the sample using magnifying glass. Black pepper is brown in color. It has a wrinkled surface and has characteristic smell and pungent taste. The papaya seeds have shrunken smooth surface and oval shape. It is greenish brown or blackish brown in color and the repulsive flavor. And next, test 22. Detection of light black berries in black pepper. So the testing method, press the berries with the help of fingers. Light berries will break easily. Oil, black berries of pepper will not break. Here you can see the difference between the black pepper and light black berries. And next, test 23. Detection of soapstone or other earthy matter in asafoetida. So the testing method, Shake little portion of the sample with water and allow to settle. Pure asafoetida will not leave any soapstone or other earthy matter at the bottom. If asafoetida is adulterated, soapstone or other earthy matter will settle down at bottom. And next, test 24. Detection of artificial water soluble synthetic colors in chilli powder. So the testing method, sprinkle chilli powder on the surface of water taken in a glass tumbler. The artificial colorants will immediately start descending in color streaks. Here you can see the difference between the both images. And next, test 25, detection of light black berries in black pepper. Float the sample of black pepper in alcohol, that is rectified spirit. The mature black pepper berries sink while the light black pepper floats. Here you can see the difference between black pepper and light black berries in the image. 
and next test 26 detection of sawdust in chili powder so the testing method add the sample to water the sawdust will float at the surface of water while chili powder will settle down at bottom and next test 27 detection of starch in asafoetida tincture of iodine is added to the sample of asafoetida appearance of blue color shows the presence of starch and next test 28 detection of chalk in common salt stir a spoonful of sample of salt in a glass of water the presence of chalk will make the solution white and other insoluble impurities will settle down and next test 29 detection of exhausted clothes in clothes testing methods Take some water in a glass and put the clothes. Genuine clothes will settle down at the bottom, while exhausted clothes will float on surface. Here you can see the difference between both clothes and volatile oil extracted clothes in the image. And next, test 30, detection of cassia bark in cinnamon. Testing method, take small quantity of cinnamon in a glass plate. If adulterated on close visual examination, cassia bark that comprises of several layers in between the rough, outer and inner, most smooth layers can be differentiated from cinnamon. Cinnamon box are very thin and can be rolled around a pencil or pen. It has a distinct smell. And next, test 31. Detection of grass seeds colored with charcoal dust in cumin seeds. So the testing method is rub small quantity of cumin seeds on palms. If palms turn black, adulteration is indicated. And next, test 32. Detection of argimon seeds in mustard seeds. Take small quantity of mustard seeds in a glass plate. Examine visually for the argimon seeds. Mustard seeds have smooth surface and when pressed inside, it is yellow in color. Argimon seeds have grainy, rough surface and are black in color. When pressed, it is white in color from inside. Here you can see the difference between both mustard seeds and argimon seeds. And next, test 33. Detection of lead chromate in turmeric hole. The testing method adds small quantity of turmeric hole in a transparent glass of water. Pure turmeric will not leave any color. Adulterated turmeric, turmeric appears to be bright in color and leaves color immediately in water. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated turmeric. And next, Test 34. Detection of artificial color in turmeric powder. So the testing method, add a teaspoon of turmeric powder in a glass of water. Natural turmeric powder leaves the light yellow color while settling down. Adulterated turmeric powder will leave a strong yellow color in water while settling down. And next, test 35. Detection of sawdust and powdered bran in powdered spices. Sprinkle the powdered spices on the water surface. Pure spices will not leave any sawdust or powdered bran on the surface of water. If spices is adulterated, sawdust or powdered bran will float onto the surface. And next, test 36. Differentiation of common salt and iodized salt. Cut a piece of potato, add salt, and wait for a minute. Add 2 drops of lemon juice. If it is iodized salt, blue color will develop. In the case of common salt, there will be no blue color. Here you can see the difference between iodized salt and common salt. And next, test 37. Detection of colored dried dentals of maize cob in saffron. So the testing method Genuine saffron will not break easily like artificial. Artificial saffron is prepared by soaking maize cob 
in sugar and coloring it with coal tar. Take a transparent glass of water and add small quantity of saffron. If saffron is adulterated, the artificial color dissolves in water rapidly. A bit of pure saffron when allowed to dissolve in water will continue to give it saffron color so long as it lasts. You can see the difference between both saffron and colored tendrils given the image. And next about fruits and vegetables. So here comes test 38 detection of malachite green in green vegetables like bitter gourd, green chili and others. Testing method 1. Take a cotton piece soaked in water or vegetable oil. Conduct the test separately. Rub the outer green surface of a small part of green vegetable or chilli. If the cotton turns green, then it is adulterated with malachite green. And next, testing method 2. Take a small part of sample and place on a piece of moist and white blotting paper. The impression of color on the paper indicates the use of malachite green or any other low priced artificial color. And next, test 39, detection of artificial color on green peas. So the testing method, take little amount of green peas in a transparent glass, add water to it and mix well. Let it stand for half an hour. Clear separation of color in water indicates the adulteration. And next, test 40, detection of rhodamine B in sweet potato. So the testing method, take a cotton ball soaked in water or vegetable oil. Conduct the test separately. Rub the outer red surface of sweet potato. If cotton absorbs color, then it indicates the usage of rhodamine B for coloring the outer surface of sweet potato. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated sweet potato. And next about beverages. Test 41. Detection of clay in coffee powder. Add half teaspoon of coffee powder in transparent glass of water. Stir for a minute and keep it aside for 5 minutes. Observe the glass at the bottom. Pure coffee powder will not leave any clay particles at the bottom. If coffee powder is adulterated, clay particles will settle at the bottom. And next, test 42. Detection of chicory powder in coffee powder. So the testing method, take a transparent glass of water. Add teaspoon of coffee powder. Coffee powder floats over the water but chicory begins to sing. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated coffee powder. And next, test 43. Detection of exhausted tea in tea leaves. Testing method 1. Take a filter paper and spread few tea leaves. Sprinkle with water to wet the filter paper. Wash the filter paper under tap water and observe the stains against light. Pure tea leaves will not stain the filter paper. If coal tar is present, it will immediately stain the filter paper. Testing method 2. Take small quantity of tea leaves, dust, and place it in the center of filter paper. Add water drop by drop at the heap of the tea leaves or dust. If the tea is adulterated with colored tea, water will dissolve the added color and leave the streak of color in the filter paper. Here you can see the difference between pure and adulterated. And next, testing method 3. Spread a little slack lime on white porcelain tile or glass plate. Sprinkle a little tea dust on the lime. Red, orange or other shades of color spreading on the lime will show the presence of coal tar color. In case of genuine tea, there will be only a slight greenish yellow color due to chlorophyll which will appear after some time. And next, test 44, detection of iron fillings in tea leaves. So the testing method Take small quantity of tea leaves in a glass plate. Move the magnet through the tea leaves. Pure tea leaves 
will not show any ion fillings on the magnet if adulterated then ion fillings will be seen on the magnet and here comes quick test for establishing tentative authentication of food products by sensory evaluation so the food product milk here the adulterant used is synthetic milk the method of sensory evaluation comes synthetic milk gives bitter taste if adulterated it gives a soapy feeling on rubbing between the fingers and then black pepper or cloves here the adulterant is coated with mineral oil so the method of sensory evaluation is black pepper coated with mineral oil gives kerosene like smell and next chili powder the adulterant used is brick powder salt powder or tack powder and method of sensory evaluation is take a teaspoon of chili powder in a glass of water and examine the residue when the residue is rubbed and if any grittiness is felt it indicates the presence of brick powder or sand when the white residue is rubbed soapy and smooth feel indicates the presence of soapstone and next cloves volatile oil extracted cloves exhausted cloves so the sensory evaluation is exhausted cloves can be identified by its small size and shrunken appearance the characteristic pungency of genuine cloves is less pronounced in exhausted cloves and next about sugar the adulterant is urea rub little sugar on palm and smell if adulterated with urea it will have smell of ammonia dissolve a small amount of sugar in water if adulterated urea in sugar gives a smell of ammonia and next wheat rice maize jowa bajra channa and barley here the adulterant used is kernel bent so the evaluation separate out the non characteristic grains and examine kernel bent has a dull appearance blackish in color and rotten fish smell and next atta here the adulterant used is resultant atta or maida the evaluation when dough is prepared from resultant atta less water is needed the normal taste of chapati prepared out of atta is somewhat sweetish whereas those prepared out of adulterated will taste in spit that is taste tasteless and next sago here the adulterant used is sand or talcum here the evaluation put a little quantity of sago in mouth if adulterated it will have a gritty feel and next powdered spices the adulterant used is common salt taste for addition of common salt if present it will taste salty and next sweet meat here the adulterant used is artificial sweetener the evaluation comes taste small quantity of sample artificial sweetener leaves a lingering sweetness on tongue for a considerable time and leaves a bitter after taste so this method is applicable if artificial sweetener is used in addition to sugar so if you have any doubt please ask on to comment section syllabus wise unit 1 to unit 10 mcqs link has been given in description please go through it and subscribe our channel thank you